There was no shortage of incredible characters from this beloved franchise. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Avatar characters. Think you know Nickelodeon? Click here to sign in with your Google or Facebook account and take the new trivia quiz on WatchMojo.com. Okay, bye. For this list, we'll be considering all characters from the Avatar world, including The Last Airbender and its sequel series, The Legend of Korra. I have a task for you. Number 10, Icknick Blackstone Warwick. Did you see that? Levitation! <laughs> it was a foot off the ground! Is that incredible or what? This eccentric billionaire and inventor was introduced in season two of The Legend of Korra, and quickly became one of the show's breakout characters because of his quirky charm, zaniness, and charisma. While he was originally a supporting antagonist with few moral scruples, in keeping with Avatar tradition, Warwick experienced substantial character growth. Commence Operation Winged Freedom! By the show's finale, he became a valuable ally for Korra and friends, taking a principled stand that helped save them. Of course, we couldn't mention Warwick without also recognizing his loyal assistant Zhu Li. Ever calm and cool in the face of Warwick's antics, while possessing a keen wit and brilliant mind. You know, you could stand to lose a few Julies. I think you're just weak, sir. Number nine, Azula. Who's that? That's a problem. It's my sister and her friend. The favorite child of Fire Lord Ozai, despite being a younger sibling, the almost sociopathic Azula had an adversarial relationship with her brother Zuko. Even when both siblings were actively working against Team Avatar, Azula was Zuko's primary antagonist, with her erratic and callous behavior serving as a foil for his stoic and honor-obsessed personality. Maybe you could find a nice Earth Kingdom family to adopt you. Stop it! You're lying! Dad would never do that to me. Despite her violent and cruel nature, Princess Azula can also be viewed with sympathy. Her instability comes from a place of vulnerability, with her rage acting as a mask for her fear. Ultimately, her downfall was caused by her losing her edge due to injured pride that spiraled into insanity. <laughs> Number 8, Katara. From now on, you're on your own! <gasps> Avatar and Korra have always had strong female protagonists, which can be traced back all the way to the very first episode featuring Katara as an intelligent waterbender who showed serious potential. Throughout the show, Katara provided much-needed stability and reason for Team Avatar. However, in pursuit of revenge for her fallen mother and anger with the Fire Nation, Katara was pushed to the brink, going to some dark and interesting places, even learning the tabooed bloodbending. <laughs> Katara also became an important link between the two shows, and was one of the most frequently featured characters from Avatar to return on Korra. It's time for you and your generation to take on the responsibility of keeping peace and balance in the world. Number 7, Bolin. I guess I just miss my friends. Everything is going so well for me, but it feels empty without everyone around. Like their audience, the members of Team Avatar were much older in Korra, and the way they faced adult issues reflected that. Bolin was no exception. Likeable and funny, but at times also incredibly tragic, he was orphaned at a young age and frequently dealt with problems in his love life. Over the course of the show, he matured significantly, yet never lost that spark of joy. In Korra, the world of Avatar had matured, with the formerly rigidly defined four nations becoming more intermingled, represented by the interracial Bolin, fittingly becoming a lava bender. Incredible. You're a lava bender. I know. Number six, Korra. It's time for you to begin your airbending training. Yes, finally. I mean, <clears throat> thank you all for believing in me. For the Legend of Korra to succeed, it would need a memorable leading character to follow in Aang's footsteps. Korra lived up to and even surpassed expectations, while being a very different kind of avatar, and a strong female leading character. You don't. Just like Bolin and the rest of the new Team Avatar, Korra dealt with much more complex emotional issues than many of the characters on Last Airbender. 
Cora copes with depression, PTSD, and had difficulty defining herself as a person outside of being an avatar, all while taking valuable lessons from her own failures and those that she defeated. Do you think you're finally able to forget about what Zaheer did to you? No, but I am finally able to accept what happened, and I think that's going to make me stronger. Number 5. Sokka Sokka, look! Shh, Katara, you're going to scare it away. Sokka started the show off as easily the funniest character, with his overconfidence and clumsiness often making him the butt of the joke. Of course, even from the beginning, he showed a tremendous amount of bravery and capacity for growth. This was on display early when, after being dismissive of the female Kyoshi warriors, he was easily beaten and embarrassed. Humbled, he gave them the respect they deserved by the end of the episode. I treated you like a girl when I should have treated you like a warrior. I am a warrior. But I'm a girl, too." While he managed to maintain his status as comic relief, he eventually also became the fearsome warrior he always envisioned himself as, and a master strategist. If you stay on this path, I know that one day you will become an even greater master than I am. Number 4. Toph Beifong Somebody's a little light on his feet. What's your fighting name, the fancy dancer? Toph was the last main character introduced on the original show, but wasted no time becoming a fan favorite. Smart, sarcastic, independent, and bold, Toph saw her blindness not as a disability, but as a benefit, using it to become arguably the best earthbender in the world. Among many other achievements, she also discovered metal bending. While she would often tease her teammates, particularly Sokka and Aang, she truly cared about her friends. If you're not tough enough to stop the rock, then you could at least give it the pleasure of smushing you instead of jumping out of the way like a jelly-boned whip. Her presence was felt on Korra as well, not just with her own cameos, but in Ling Beifong, her tough-as-nails daughter, who became one of the best Avatar characters in her own right. I am well aware of who you are, and your Avatar title might impress some people, but not me. Number 3. Iro. Why don't you enjoy a cup of calming jasmine tea? At first glance, Iroh is an easygoing and wise old mentor who doles out wisdom in the form of riddles, but prefers a peaceful, easy life to the war his country has been thrust into. As the show went on, we learned he was also one of the most powerful benders in the world, and former crown prince of the Fire Nation. You've got to get out of here! I'll hold them off as long as I can! <laughs> After the death of Iroh's son, however, he lost any desire to lead, and eventually joined his nephew, the banished Prince Zuko. In Zuko, Iroh saw another chance to be a good father, and help the young prince to become a good man. You never know how things are going to work out, but if you keep an open mind and an open heart, I promise you will find your own destiny someday. Number 2. Aang Come closer. What is it? Will you go penguin sledding with me? Uh, sure, I, I guess. It would be impossible to have a worthwhile list about the best characters from Avatar The Last Airbender and not feature the title character. Of course, Aang isn't just great because he's the central character. Living with the weight of the fact that the world has plunged into a century-long war because he disappeared, Aang is initially unable to handle the responsibility put before him at an incredibly young age. That's awful, Aang. I don't know what to say. How could they do that to me? They wanted to take away everything I knew and everyone I loved! Whoa! Hot centers! Over the course of the show, he matured and learned to be the hero that the world needed, while never abandoning his core beliefs. I took away your firebending. You can't use it to hurt or threaten anyone else ever again. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Dear May, I'm sorry that you have to find out this way, but I'm leaving. Stop! This isn't about you. This is about the Fire Nation. Thanks, Zuko. That makes me feel all better. Stop! Throw them! <gasps> A feast! Number 1. Zuko Take my hand!
Prince Zuko began Avatar as the show's primary antagonist, but it wouldn't be accurate to call him a villain. Driven by a single-minded furious devotion, Zuko was in direct opposition to Aang. His primary goal was to kidnap the Avatar in order to regain the honor that was taken from him when his father, Fire Lord Ozai, burned and banished Zuko. Zuko's journey saw him ally with Aang at times, and saw him question if what he was doing was right. When his father restored his honor, Zuko's inner conflict only intensified, leading him to make his own honor, and he became one of the Avatar's greatest allies and friends. The world's so different now. And it's gonna be even more different. We'll rebuild it together. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.